Hello everyone, this is Potato Legion here. I hope you are keeping very well. This is not a good video, I'm afraid. This is going to be me talking about the latest update and how disappointed I am in BHVR for this absolutely god-awful update. A really great person on the forums named Chieftain333 has been listing all of the bugs that he has noticed so far. It says 100 here in the title, but he's actually made another thread because there was that many so I think there's over 140 bugs I'm gonna leave the links in the description so you guys can read yourselves just in case you are unaware of the absolute mayhem going on currently in Dead by Daylight I'm sure you've been playing the game and noticed a few bugs as you've been playing but let me tell you there are absolutely an insane amount and it's honestly game-breaking but I'm gonna cover the most important ones in this video so if you saw my latest video you would have noticed that Victor gets stuck in the ground, he can get stuck in Charlotte, he can still hit through lockers, he can, when he's actually on a survivor, he doesn't actually show as being on the survivor, he's sort of floating all over the place, it's an absolute joke. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably skip through the Charlotte stuff because most of her bugs are just already stated in the latest update as it is. What I'm going to do is cover the things that you might not have expected like things with other killers so let's just quickly go through them we all know about the new perks basically not working power struggle doesn't work at all and if you time it correctly when you stun the pallet you can actually get stuck in it which is just a joke in itself um, flashlights for some reason aren't working either so don't even attempt to flashlight save the angles are completely messed up right now the hillbilly when he uses his chainsaw, it randomly overheats, and, and this apparently happens a lot more. When he breaks a pallet, it will just start to overheat, and the way to cancel it is to use a chainsaw and get him rev it for a second. <sighs> Absolutely ridiculous. Legion is currently unplayable. You're probably already aware of this, but Legion's base speed while using Frenzy is now the same as if he wasn't using Frenzy. There is no difference in speed. His lunge is also gone. The only thing you can do in Fail Frenzy is vault faster, but if you can't chase survivors any quicker, there's no point. Legion is unplayable. I was actually going for a Legion streak and I was trying to get the content ready for you guys, but thanks to this update, I can't play Legion right now. I will just lose the games. It's absolutely ridiculous. Spirit is back to old Spirit. She now has Collision like she used to, which is fucking ridiculous. Um, the Oni, funny enough, hit validation was put back on for like six hours yesterday, and because it was messing up with the Oni's power, they took it back off immediately. So it's funny how the Legion is basically unplayable, but the second the Oni is no longer playable, they decide to hotfix it immediately, but instead they don't care about Legion. Like, I'm sorry, you're, you're, this killer is unplayable. You should have fixed it immediately. Ah, oh, absolute joke. Um, so the Oni's sucking blood animation no longer happens when he hits a survivor, and Oni hears the Blood Fury ready cue extremely loudly. Okay, I won't be playing Oni at all. Um, I don't fancy blasting my eardrums off or having any joy with this. It'll just frustrate me. Okay, Death Slinger. Apparently when you reel survivors in a windows, it doesn't let you reel them entirely, so that means you can no longer shoot survivors at windows. They'll just get away from you. That makes his power basically pointless because a lot of the time the Death Slinger catches survivors at windows. That is his massive strength. Right, Pyramid Head. I actually had a game yesterday where I was going against a Twitch streamer and on his screen, because I rewatched it, I was using my power, I was dragging the sword on the floor, but on my screen I wasn't using my power at all. So how is he supposed to tell whether or not I'm going to use my power or not? You just can't. So that means Pyramid Head currently is broken for survivors. It's a massive buff for killers because obviously there's no mind game, you, the survivor doesn't know what you're doing. Um, yeah, right now he's also, he's not unplayable, his power still works fine, but going against the virus is extremely unfair and honestly frustrating and boring for them. So if you can avoid playing Pyramid Head right now, for the survivor's sake, please do so. Okay. Leatherface no longer receives any movement speed boost when he's using his chainsaw. <laughs> so again, his power is completely pointless. Apparently he has... So even if you use one charge, it's the same as using all three. It's... There's no benefit of just using one charge, you might as well use all three right now. Getting stunned in the middle of shred can cause you to move at shred speed for the rest of the game. That is insane. 
that is broken. Okay, do not play Leatherface at all. The plague, you can hear whispers even after Corrupt Page has ended, so that's just an annoying sound bug. Apparently there is bugs with killers in general. So 115% killers like Hunter, Spirits, Hag seem to move slower, but it's just a visual glitch. Uh, killers with long clothes get bunched up, but it's been happening since the last updates. And sometimes killers chase music doesn't play. And the trapper cannot place down traps near exit gates. I've also been told that PS4 players can't place down traps. Full stop. So yeah, that's pretty crazy. There's some, there's a load, and I mean a load of cosmetic glitches, like the Oktoberfest dress on Kate, big see through lockers. Apparently, there's one with Tap and his chain being really long. There's, there's too many to count. I'm, I'm not gonna go through all of them. I've already spoken plenty about some of them. Um, but yeah, you guys definitely need to give this a read. It's quite scary. And apparently, it's a problem with totems, with hexes being the same. Damn, that is crazy. There's loads of miscellaneous bugs with maps. I'm going to continue talking about the killer one, so let's go into his next page. Apparently, if you're the clown and you're holding your bottle and you get stunned with a pallet, you will not be able to use your power for the rest of the match. So, that's a thing. Try not to get stunned while you're holding your bottle. Um, Pyramid Head can, be, can also be stuck at reduced movement speed, right to judgment for the entire match can be fixed by getting stunned. I didn't actually know that, I didn't actually come across that at all. I felt like my games were 10 times easier with Pyramid Head, obviously because there's no mind game. The Doctor's Mori with the illusionary red stain, it will stay on the corpse for the rest of the game. That's pretty frustrating and annoying. Okay, LED has loads of audio bugs and visual bugs, it's insane. She's basically broken right now, sometimes it screams, sometimes she screams, sometimes she doesn't, sometimes she makes weird noises, it's just <laughs> There's no way of actually explaining it, it's just a joke, it's just completely broken. Um, the Blight can receive a double cooldown after rushing when it's being filled by Alchemist Ring. Okay, I don't think that's a massive problem. I think the Blight is actually okay, I don't think there's any problems with the Blight that I'm aware of or have been reported to. I've got a few Blight memes on my Discord and they haven't said that there's any problems with the Blight, so that's good. Um, apparently the, hatches, the Huntress's hatchets are really fucked. Like, it's the way she throws it, it doesn't throw from how it would, it throws from... Uh, it spins on the handle instead of the center, it's very weird and it does actually mix up the hitboxes. Someone in my Discord has said that it has messed it up. And apparently if you get hit by a hatchet, you have no idea, so you'll just be injured. <laughs> you'll be like, what? <laughs> That's great. Um, the nurse, her blinks can bug out, preventing you from using your second blink. Happens more often when using a third blink, so if you've got that iridescent add-on, I guess that's even more of a pain. Um, nurse has always been quite buggy for me anyway, but in this update she's ten times more buggy. And you can't blink through the main building as a resting place. Great. Okay, more audio bugs with Deathslinger. His really noise can play indefinitely. Demogorgon can sometimes able to put portals below hooked survivors. He couldn't do that before, trust me. <laughs> that is just ridiculously stupid. I wonder what happens if he appears underneath the hook. Does he get stuck or what? Can survivors not unhook because they got to cleanse the portal? I wonder what's going on with that. More random frame drop rates problem with Leatherface. Okay, so there's a lot of things where killers getting stunned with their power, they have reduced speed or they're just stuck. And that's the same with Plague. Hitting injured survivors with Demon Strike doesn't down them. It may have been hit validation. Yes, that was a problem with hit validation. They, they fixed that by turning it off. Traps can spawn inside objects of every map now. I won't be playing Trap for a while because I don't fancy losing five or six traps because they're bugged out. Thank you very much. And yes, this is a problem I've noticed while playing the twins. Sometimes when I miss a lunge and the survivor is there trying to kick me, sometimes they can't and they've got no reason not to, but they just can't and that is such a bad thing for the survivor because then I can just lunge at them again. It's so unfair. If they've dodged you well, they deserve to kick you and lose you. It's not fair that it's currently bugged. Um, Victor cannot damage a survivor if they are leaving a locker. He can damage them in a locker though, if you didn't know that. You can actually lunge straight at them, even if they're in it. You'll attach if they're not injured, and if they are injured, you'll just down them and they'll fall out the locker. If a perk activated, say Runkle for example, if you release Victor then down the person, you won't be able to mori the survivor. It seems the perk may not activate with, Vic with Victor, both killer and survivor. Okay. So if you release Victor then down the person, you can't mori them. So Victor has to be on you in order to Mori. That's very strange. Victor's crush prompt overrides the survivor's drop pallet. <laughs> Fucking hell. Just put Victor on a pallet and it can't do anything. <laughs> Deploying a Victor making him stuck. Yes, yes, yes. 
Okay, Undying doesn't always bring totems back. Great. Dead Hard may interfere with other prompts. Fantastic. Barbecue not awarding points to some killers. I've noticed my blood points have been a lot less, you know, when I've been running barbecue. Just noticed it. And there's also a bug with one of the sacrifice categories. The um, the sacrificial category. So, <laughs> you, if you want to go for a dip right now, you just can't, because it always stays at 10-10. Um, can spawn in using the flashlight, cause it to be used up. Great. Some challenges may not seem to go in progress. Okay. I have rambled way too long. Please give this post a read and a like. All the credit goes to Chifton333 for putting this all together. Really appreciate it, my man. It's absolutely terrifying that they have left the game in this state. It's actually embarrassing. We have a PTB for a reason and they should have nailed all of these bugs out during the PTB. There is no way you should have launched a live game with this many bugs. And it's not the fact that it's, if it was just a new killer broken, all right, I'm sure we'd all understand, you know, the new killer's here, you're still trying it, you're fixing it as you go along. Okay, but, it's, but the fact that it's broken every other killer in the game, and we are still discovering more and more bugs. This man has done a great job listing over 107 bugs, but I'm telling you there is way more, way more bugs in this game that this update has caused. And if you do notice any that aren't on this list, Leave a comment on this forum post for sure and leave a comment down below. But yeah, I mean, BHVR, we love your game. We really do. We all play it. It's one of a kind. You have some great unique killers in the game and it's kind of addicting. Even though it's the same game over and over again, you fix generators, you chase people, it's the same thing. But it's so unique and so fun and it, every game is different. We keep coming back. You cannot release a, an update this badly it's just an insult to all of your loyal fans that have been here for such a long time this is the worst update in years i've not seen an update this bad since i started playing this is an absolute joke they need a hotfix asap they need to do it now they need to do an apology for this update because there's so many killers that are currently unplayable and there's a lot of people that love the main killers, like me for example, I do play a lot of Legion and Trapper, but right now I cannot play either of them because they're so bugged out and it's not fun to play a killer when you can't use their mechanics correctly. It's just not fun. Whatsoever. <sighs> okay. I've actually been speaking to somebody on the Discord in staff and I asked them a simple question. Why, BHVR, have you released this update? so early and there aren't and one of the staff members answers was because of licensing problems and I'm not talking about killer licensing problems I'm talking about licensing problems as in to get it on consoles or PC they give a date when they're saying they're gonna get this chapter out so that they can get it ready for PS4 Xbox switch whatever so why don't you get the game in the correct state for the PTB and let everyone test it so it, the game should be like 90% ready it shouldn't be 10% ready with all of these bugs and let's just be honest the PTB was less buggy than this none of these bugs is, existed in the PTB so why is it in the live game what has happened I'm hoping in the Q&A today we get some answers for this and an answer to when this is all going to be fixed because there are so many problems and they need to get it done as soon as possible I'm hoping they fix the most important things like Legion being broken, Baba being broken, the Oni being broken, refix the spirit. You know, all of the all of these killers need to be refixed as soon as possible. I don't think survivor visual glitches are as important as killers' powers not working. They need to get fixed as soon as possible. <sighs> it's a shame because the, the twins is actually a really fun killer. A really fun killer. And I'm enjoying playing them even with all these bloody bugs it's still fun the whole core mechanic behind the killer is extremely fun it's just a shame there's so many bugs to go alongside it guys i've rambled on for way too long i've probably lost your interest if you did stick to the very end thank you very much please give this a read for yourself i just wanted to go over some of the problems and bugs in this update guys i will catch you in the next video my next video will not be about this update i do not want to record or play right now when the game is in this state it's not fun to play it's not fair on the survivors it's not fair on the killers 
it's not entertaining to watch. So I will continue playing the twins, but probably not be recording. And the next game you'll see will be from before the update. So it is what it is. Hopefully they fix this soon. And when they do, I will do another video talking about the hot fix and if they give us any apology. Probably just 10,000 blood points. Hey, VHVR. <laughs> right. Peace out, guys. Catch you in the next one. Jesus Christ, this update.